So there's this experiment that you ran in class where you put water on both of your hands and on one of your hands you blew on the water. And you noticed one thing. Well, you maybe noticed, noticed a couple of things. One, it felt cooler. Two, it evaporated quicker. Then the question came out, why does your hand feel cooler? Why is it that when we tried to quantify this information using two thermometers, one wet and uh, one dry, that when I wave the thermometer that had a wet piece of cloth on the end, the thermometer dropped temperature. This seems to kind of contradict the concept of what it takes to make water evaporate. I mean, your understanding is, all right, if I want to turn liquid water into a gas, I have to add energy, I have to add heat. So why isn't the thermometer reading a hotter temperature? Well, if it's reading a colder temperature, that means heat is leaving. I mean, because we've learned this before, that when we hold an ice cube, holding the ice cube transfers heat into the ice. The ice takes our heat, and that's why we feel cold. This is not different. We were talking about ice, now we're talking about water. They're both water. So if I have water on the top of my hand and I blow on it, I speed up the process of evaporation. In order for that water to evaporate, it needs energy. It's getting energy from my hand. From the air, the moving air molecules are taking and putting their energy into the water. See, the heat goes into the water. And when that heat leaves with the water, I lose heat, which is why my hand felt cold and which is why the thermometer records a lower temperature. Water evaporates, but when it does so, it takes away the energy. It's the best way to explain it, and it makes me think about another main question. What is it? about sweating that makes me feel cooler? And that's the exact question you're going to be asked to answer. You'll have to explain the concept of why sweating, which is a lot like water on the outside of my body, makes me feel colder. Because obviously you sweat because you're hot. And I'm not asking you the question about what is the process of sweating, because we're not studying biology right now here. We're not trying to find out what is it about your skin that secretes the sweat. That's not the question. The question is, once we get sweat on our body, why is it that that somehow makes us feel cooler, especially when we're running or if it's a windy day? You need to connect what I just talked to you about and what you experienced with that water and blowing on it, and the same experiment by shaking that thermometer and noticing that the temperature drops. All right, I hope you can connect what evaporation means and how evaporation is the opposite of condensation. Evaporation is clearly liquid turning into a vapor, evaporation. And when things condense, they're becoming more dense. So a gas turning back into a liquid is condensation. Okay, one of them is moving the other direction than the other one. Okay, liquid to gas, gas to liquid, there's a difference a very clear difference. So pay attention to the question, what it's asking, and good luck.